Hi, and welcome to another AlterEgos.com tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing the lockdown feature in AppSense's Environment Manager. To be more specific, how to lock down secondary menu buttons. For those of you not familiar with this feature, lockdown is a mechanism that lets you restrict or disable access to an application or operating system functionality, keyboard shortcuts, and Microsoft Office application menus, toolbars, and ribbons. Some examples of this would be preventing users from deleting browser history and in Internet Explorer settings, stop users from changing network settings, locking down shortcut keys such as print screen. There is a general wizard option under the Environment Manager lockdown ribbon which allows you to block or remove Windows objects in the operating system and application interfaces. The wizard lets you use a drag and drop tool called Spy Tool to identify objects you wish to secure. Things can get a bit tricky when using the drag and drop approach though. An example of this would be if you want to lock down the File New Tab menu option in Internet Explorer 9. For those of you that are not familiar with IE9, the menu bar is hidden and requires using the keyboard Alt key to make it appear. The Lockdown General Wizard requires that you have the application you are going to be working with open before you use the Spy Tool. Once you left click on the Spy Tool, the Environment Manager console will minimize and the application you want to work with will move to the foreground. In the case of applications like IE9, the menu bar will disappear. If you pay attention, you will also notice that IE9, in this case, is not the active window and you can't use the mouse to make it active as the spy tool will interpret this as what you want to lock down. The way around this is to use the Alt-Tab key on your keyboard to cycle through the applications so you can make the application you are trying to lock down the active one. Now that IE9 is active, we will want to make the file menu bar appear so we rely again on our keyboard shortcuts. In this case, the Alt key by itself will make the entire menu bar appear. You will notice that each heading on the menu bar has a letter underlined. This is Microsoft's way of letting you know that pressing Alt plus the underlined letter on your keyboard will bring up the secondary menus. You can now select the secondary menu with the Spy tool. When you release the left mouse button, a Select Items for Lockdown window appears. Within this window, you see a list for the secondary menu. You can now place a check beside any menu items you wish to lock down, then press OK. After pressing OK, the General Wizard window appears. Press OK if you don't want to make any changes then save the configuration and deploy it to your selected systems. And that concludes this video. Thank you, and please come back to watch more videos from AlterEgos.com.